Are you drowning with your property tax? Got people ask me in my YouTube comments about the increase of the property tax in 2024 Because the property tax for 2024 has increased So later, I'm going to show you what is the real increase for condos, lender and stay till the end I'm going to show you some surprise of some crazy property tax that people pay Let's go! You can see that from 2024, the tax rate will increase between 12 and 36%. So let's start with owner occupied first. I did out this table to show the difference. The blue color is before 2024, the green is 2024. Property tax is based on annual value. Annual value derived from the average renter that you can fetch in that area or in that project. The higher the AV annual value, the higher the property tax. Lah. So you can see that for the first 8,000 to the next 22,000, the tax rate is the same at 4%. The next tier increased by 1% from 5%. Then the next tier, 7 to 10%. Next one, 10 to 14, 14 to 20, 18 to 26. And above 100,000 AV, which is usually landed properties or high-end condos, from 23 to 32%. And you can see that the property tax payable has increased this much. Next, let's go for non-owner occupier, which is investment. That means you rent out the entire unit. The annual value is based on three tier. The first 30K, 11% to 12%. Next 15, 16 to 20%. Next 15,000, 21% to 28%. Then finally, above 60,000 is 27% to 36%. From 3 down 3 to 3 down 6, 2 down 4 to 3,000, 5, 7 to 6, 6, 3, 1 to 4, 2, 8,850 to 10,800. Now let's start off with the property tax increase for condos. The first one I'll be sharing is my in-laws place at Avon Park, which is a freehold condo at Woodley MRT Station. 1,700 square feet, 33 years old. So last year, their AV is 29,400 only. If you stay in, you pay 860. If you rent out all, which they did so, they need to pay $3,240. This year, AV has increased from 29,400 to 35,400. If you stay in, you need to pay 1,002. If you rent out, you need to pay 4,680. So in summary, if you stay, increase by 40% tax. If you invest, increase by 44%. So you can see that the property tax for 2024, if you rent out, is around one month of your rental. This is one of my members' unit. It's a three-bedroom XEC value around 1.5 million in Pongo. Last year, AV is only 30,000. If you stay in, you pay $880 only. If you choose to rent out, you need to pay 3,300. This year, AV has increased from 30,000 to 36,000. If you stay in, you pay 1,240. If you choose to rent out, you pay 4,008, which is also roughly about one month of your rental. So in summary, if you stay, tax has increased 41% and for investment, increased by 45%. Overall, you can see that property tax is manageable. It's around one month of your rental. Okay, one last one. This one is one of my sister's property, Coco Palms. Four bedroom. She bought it 1.6 plus million, but today is about 1.9 plus million. Her AV last year, 36,000. If she stays in, she need to pay 1,180, which is very affordable. But because it's an investment property, she rented out. She needs to pay 4,260. And this year, the AV has increased from 36,000 to 45,000. If she stays in, she need to pay 1980 but because she rented out and her rental income is quite good, she need to pay 6600 So in summary, own stay increased by 68%, investment increased by 55%. Kind of weird lah. I thought usually investment increase higher percentage than the own stay. But for this case, it just works like that. Oh. If this video gives you some value and joy, remember to hit the subscribe button. Now let's go into landed property. As you see, the property tax is higher and higher. Ah. So the first example is my semi-D that I use for stay, which is here. The value is around 7 million. Last year, my AV is 79,000. And since I'm staying, I'm paying 5,150. But if I were to rent out, I need to pay 14,000. As for this year, my AV increased to 83,000. And since I'm staying in, I'm paying 6,006. But if I were to rent out, I need to pay 19,000.
In summary, staying increased by 28%, investment increased by 36%. So I have one more example. I have a friend who stays in Bukit Timah as well. So he has an inter terrace worth about 6 million today. Last year, his AV is only 47,000 and he's only paying 2,360. If he were to rent out, he need to pay 6,120. This year, his AV increased from 47,000 to 54,000 and he's staying in it, he pays 2,880. But for investment, increased to 9,120 which is $3,000 more. So overall, staying increased by 22% and investment increased by 49%. Now let's have some fun. Let me share with you some of the high-end landlords and how much property tax they are paying. You will be shocked, man. Many of the people sent me this image showing that the annual value of the property is 780000 This AV is 21 times of the Pongo property that is worth 1.5 million. And the property is taxed at non-owner occupier, which is investment. The tax payable is 270,000, man. I'm very curious, eh. What is the value of the property? Since the AV is about 21 times of a condo in Pongo worth 1.5 million, that means the property is 30 over million dollars. Eh? And I did it. I found out where is the property and I also found out who is the owner. This owner found a good buy and paid 17.5 million for 10,000 square feet bungalow at Sentosa Cove. I saw this on TikTok that this agent selling this bungalow now. Last offer received was 33 million dollars eh. and I read further this investor is a firm believer in real estate just like me she have invested in some 40 properties worth 100 million today over the years if I see her and I'll give her a prize I'll name her a giant giant huakui she really started from nothing and she has this kind of result so wow this one must really respect man I'm going to show you the last one Super shocking one. I'm very curious. So I'm going to find one of the most prestigious landed properties in Singapore and what is their AV. So I went to Nasim Road. March Nasim Road. And this latest transaction is about 3 years ago. 32,000 land size. So at 4,000 per square feet, 128,800,000. And guess the AV. 6.4 million AV. Whoa. Anyway, the buyer is a billionaire. La. Minimally 100 to 1,000 times richer than us. Ma. It's like a normal millionaire like you buy a condo. La. It's the same thing. Ma. And I found out that this buyer bought this place to rebuild. And for rebuilding AV, it's charged 10% of AV. Which means the property tax is 644,000 per year. And rebuilding takes about maybe two years or three years. You times two or three years. So the property tax alone is one plus million dollars. I learned that people who can buy a property is totally blessing blessing. And property tax is like a wealth tax. If you can afford a prior property, definitely you should be able to afford the property tax. Ma. And the most important thing that I learned is I want to be the owner who can buy this $100 million. Le. And also to make you feel better, la, this person paid 600 over 1000 property tax ah. you only pay thousand plus lah so okay lah ho guys okay. yeah.